What's up, guys? My name's Caleb, and this is Weston. Oh, sorry. Weston. My name's Weston. <laughs> and uh, yeah, today I wanted to do a little recap of what we covered in today's live stream uh, this morning in our private group in Flipping Wheels. So we actually had a really good, let me switch it to part of screen here. We had uh, some really good call outs from people uh, this morning, uh, actually Clown Ninja, who's Eddie we learned today. Eddie had some really good call outs and we looked through some of these. He actually, both of those were really good profits. Yeah. Um, I think both of them were at least like around like $800 to $1,000 profit call outs Easy. that he called out this morning so that we had a fantastic live call this morning that was awesome and then uh, the one thing we wanted to talk about in this video and I actually wanted Weston to talk about was the amazing uh, profit margins he was able to build off of this really really nice 330 335i BMW that he found so let's talk about that actually I think we can still pull it up here so right. as I pull it up you want to talk about it and yeah so um as some of you guys may know, um, some of the roommates at the Tech Buds house actually have a 335i. Phil and Joel both have 335i's. I did not know much about BMWs, fortunately. Um, you know, they're my friend group, really good friends, really good guys. Um, they showed me, you know, things that I didn't know, and I was able to. I, I kind of like fell in love with the 335i, wouldn't you say? Like yeah. uh, instantly. And I was like, I, I want one of these so bad because of you know how much you can do to them yeah. um, for such a good you know price. And so I went searching. Um, I knew all the things to look out for, thanks to Phil and Joel. And we were able to find one, um, the cheapest one, I believe, right? The cheapest yeah. one in Arizona, mm -hmm. um, in this area, eighty five hundred bucks the, with this kind of mileage. With this yeah. kind of mileage, um, and and what I wanted done to it. And so we found this for 8,500 bucks. First thing I did was I called the seller to basically see the situation, based not to not to get you know just what's up with the car, but to get a feel for what you know the situation is and how I should approach the negotiation process. Mm -hmm. And what you know basically the the background story of it is it was a um, foreign exchange student that moved back to China. And so now that his car's here, he just needs to get rid of it. So basically that can help us because, you know, he just, it, it's, it's not, kind of useless for him. It's just yeah. kind of sitting around. Mm -hmm. And so we were able to, you know, um, act upon that. And I was able to negotiate in person. I chose to do it in person because it's more, mm -hmm. you know, um, all of a sudden at the moment you have to decide right then. It's more, not like kind of like more pressure. Yeah. But um, we... You know, our, he's supposed to get back with us, but we offered, um, you know, $5,000, considered it. So what was he asking? So he was asking 8500 8, bucks. He had posted it on here. It says 15 days, but he had just reduced the price. So the original ad was posted 15 days ago, but he just reduced the price to 8500 two days ago, right? Exactly. And then, uh, yeah, we went out there to go see it and really just... We took Phil with us and Weston and Phil. I didn't really do much talking. I did a little bit. But, um, yeah, Phil and Weston were really the ones that were super interested in it. And they were basically going around and not really, like, picking things out to, like, make him feel bad about the car. No. But just, just being, like, super honest about, well, like, hey, you know. And, and, right, for example, the type of buyer that's going to be buying something like this mm. is going to be more picky on yeah. a car like this compared to maybe a truck SUV. Yeah. More common because it is a sportier car for yeah. one. Um, it's got the performance upgrades. So you know, right, the previous owner was could have, you know, you got to be more cautious when they have aftermarket parts because you're like, oh, the type of person, you know, mm. they could have driven it harder. Yeah. So you really have to look over the car really well, which is what we did. Mm -hmm. And um, it was overall, what, yeah. 7 out of 10? 7 out of 10. And honestly, seeing it now, like here in these pictures, because it didn't look this clean. It was like really dirty. He had it sitting for a little bit. Which is what I like. Yeah, because like now looking at these pictures to like what it can look like once we like really clean it exactly, up. Exactly, yeah. And get like these new tires on it because the tires were like bald. Right. This was clearly probably taken like a year ago or something like that. But, but yeah, definitely. So like for example, the tires on the back were bald. We were able to use that as leverage mm -hmm. also, and, and the seller understood it. It wasn't like we were, you know, uh, stressing him out. He understood yeah. everything that we pointed out in a nice way, um, and hopefully we'll be able to get this for around 5000 yeah. And the potential, I'll be, you know, buying this if I can 
in Arkansas. I also checked the price in Arkansas, and these are actually going for about a thousand to two thousand dollars more mm -hmm. in Arkansas. Surprisingly, you said, right? You said buying in Arkansas. You mean buying here, selling? Buying it. here, taking it to Arkansas, and selling it there when I choose to. I'm yeah. definitely going to drive this for a long time. Yeah, he wants and to daily this. I, we're actually kind of like not fighting over it, but come on, share it. Yeah, I was yeah, like, right. I was like, come on, I'll go fifty fifty with it, and, and you can just keep it here I, in Arizona, I, and I'll uh, sell it here. And, so. Yeah. Um, that's also a plus, right? I yeah. can, you know, even just because of my area, just knowing your area, that simple step. Yeah. I knew that, you know, I'm, I'm really safe if yeah. I get it for five to $6,000, yeah. I'm I mean, really safe. Get, get getting, to enjoy it. Um, getting this thing for $5,000 is an absolute, st like, yeah, 88,000 miles. You can't go, yeah, you know, 88,000 miles. Is and fortunately we had Phil that knows everything about these cars, exactly. everything. And yeah. he was like, man, this we inspected fine. this thing from head to toe, like completely. And it, and it's nothing hard, really hard to do. Um, yeah. I didn't expect it to have any crazy problems because of 88,000 miles. Yeah. That's not any, you know, Definitely. I didn't expect anything crazy and it didn't, fortunately. Yeah. But based on the situation that he was, you know, a foreign uh, exchange student, moved back and then the car is still here mm -hmm. and he needs to get rid of it. I knew that, you know, hopefully I could get a good deal and yeah. I still think I can. And this isn't no grocery getter either. Those of you who know like these kind of BMWs, this one's a twin turbo, full on bolt-ons, right? right? Full bolt-on full twin bolt -ons, turbo. Uh, uh, Borla exhaust. Six like, cylinder, yeah. Yeah, it's straight. They're seat, like really yeah. almost like underrated. So yeah, it's like what 440 or 420 to the wheel or something. Uh, yeah, with like 400 to 420 is yeah. what you can get. Like that if thing, you really push it, that thing is awesome. So I think that was absolutely fantastic. And the coolest part about this is that you're gonna get to enjoy this for I don't know like three to six months, however and, long you decide. And potentially make three to. Three to four, four thousand on the high end, three thousand, maybe twenty five hundred on the low end. Yeah, twenty five hundred you know, on the low case. end, and then even all the way up to like four thousand on the high. End. Even so, four months down the road with ninety five thousand miles. Yeah, hundred percent. So you can still enjoy all that time and still make money just because you were able to make a solid investment in the beginning. Yeah. And on something that you really wanted anyway, you know. Yeah. So, hundred percent. I think that was absolutely awesome. So yeah, big shout out to everybody this morning um, in our call. Um, if you guys are interested in ever being in a part of our group, the Flipping Wheels group, just go ahead and take some time to uh, click the link below and we'd love to uh, be a part of your success, 100%. Also, so, oh, go ahead. Also, if you wanna connect with us on a daily basis to see our process with our flips, our Instagram is below as well, oh, yeah. so feel free to click that link, follow us. Give us a follow and um, you know see our journey and our road. Yeah. Um, oh, and we share 30, it with you guys. The thirty day money back guarantee. Right now we're having a like really cool special. Weston and Westy, Weston, myself and Ricky got together and we really wanted to do a thirty day money back guarantee on on the group because it is a uh, one time fee right. of one hundred and ninety five dollars or one ninety seven. So, um, but that's lifetime access to yeah. not only the course but the group. Of myself and Weston as mentors, and yeah, like I said, our live calls. Yeah, so day. if you don't make your money back in 30 days, you will get a 100% refund yep. um, on your initial price from the, the day you enroll. So mm -hmm. basically, you know, no risk. No risk at all. Um, it's basically all up to us to help them find the best deal. So Exactly. So if you've ever wanted to take a chance into a market that maybe you've never taken a chance in before, this is a perfect opportunity to do it. Like I said, no risk at all. So anyways, uh, thanks for tuning in to this, guys, and we will see you in tomorrow's video.